past. Let me tell you why you're here. You're here because you know something. What you know you can't explain, but you feel it. You felt it your entire life, that there's something wrong with the world. You don't know what it is, but it's there, like a splinter in your mind, driving you mad. It is this feeling that has brought you to me. It is all around us, even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? That you are a slave in you. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage, born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. Prison for your mind. If you look at the root word, because Arabic has root words, and the root words have primal meanings which indicate where the semantic field is deriving its meaning from. The word Dajjala was a word that the Arabs used when a camel had mange. When it was diseased, they would put pitch over it as a treatment. They would put pitch, and they use that word yudadjiru. They would put this pitch over the, the camel so you didn't see the disease of the camel. Outwardly, the camel would look good because it's been pitched over. You, 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 you got that idea? It's, this is the Dajjal is, is he pitches over the sickness and the disease and makes diseases look good. So the idea of, of the, the Dajjal is that the Dajjal will come and tell people in the same way that Isa told them that the next world is what you should work for, the Dajjal would tell them this world is what you should work for. In the same way that Isa told them that dunya is, is gharoor, it's a delusion and it will delude you, the, the Dajjal will tell them the next world is a delusion. You see, like the beer commercial, you only live once, so get all the gusto you can. Right? That's a Budweiser. You only live once, you only go around once, so get all the gusto you can. This is the message of this age. It's a message of deep materialism. It is a message telling people they will be happy in, through buying things. Buy more and be happy. This is, this is a slogan. Be happy, don't worry, be happy. Right, the smiley face. And on the back of the dollar bill, there's a seal on this side. It's called the Great Seal of the United States. That's what it's called, it's their seal. Now behind the seal, this is actually what is behind the Great Seal of the United States, is a pyramid with one eye. Now, the one eye is the sun god, Ray, which is where we get the word Ray, sun rays. It is the sun god, same Mithraic character, and he shows up again and again. This is the Masonic god of the, the Ray. If you look, you'll see the pyramid is built except for the top. It's built except for the top. The eye is suspended above the top. It hasn't come down yet. Because they believe until they finished the Masonic project, which is the, the, what they say on the bottom, Novus Ordo Seclorum, and then Annuata Chaptis, he is pleased with our project. In other words, the God they believe in is pleased with our project. What is the project? This is the question. What is the project that this God is pleased with? The project is literally the secularization of the world. 
to completely strip the world from religious beliefs. This is the project, and that is why it is called Novus Ordo Seclorum, a new secular or worldly order. If you translate that into Arabic, it would be a Nivam al Alami al Dunyawi, not al Jadid. It would be a Dunyawi, the new temporal order, the new order of the world.